Um, Albert, we, I like to joke Albert quite a bit because I always viewed Albert as something of a renaissance man, of course. <laughs> his thinking is 500 years old, that's what I mean by that. <laughs> and it's the things about Albert, you know, he, he has no problem letting you know where he's coming from, what his, what his positions are, and he's very, very firm in those positions. He's very pragmatic but very firm. It's the things that Albert doesn't say that shape the man. So I just wrote down a few things that I've never heard Albert say. Um, and I'm just, bear with me, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, there's a few things that I've never heard him say in all of the years of service. I've never heard Albert say, what difference does the cost make? It's for the kids. I've never heard him say, I don't care what it takes, get that shelter done. If I don't speak to the animals, no one will. I've also never heard him say, anybody know where I can get tickets to that NoFo Fest? <laughs> of course, this one Albert has never said. And again, correct me if I'm wrong. Affordable housing, the more the better. <laughs> Why do we even need an IT department? Scott and I can do all the tech support. <laughs> ne neither one of us not really very adept at the new technology. Um, I've never heard him say, I don't even know what an Andros is or why you would need a patent for it. <laughs> I've never heard him say, okay, Art, I will run, but you have to agree to be my campaign manager and my chief strategist. <laughs> now, I, I gotta be honest, Art, Art's, Art's got a plan for 2013. He's just waiting to see if Board of Elections will let him run Al for every position. <laughs> Finally, I've never heard Al say, sure, I would love to honor Scott Russell at the Cut Drug Swedish Republican <laughs> Club dinner. Now, this is one thing Al has never said, and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. He's never said, whenever we've had to de deliberate an issue or, or, or have a good, hearty discussion on any issue, Al has never said what's in it for me, politically, personally, or professionally. He always puts the town first. And I like to think we're part of a generation that focuses on South Old Town, and not on the partisanship that you see up west. And it's, I'm proud to have him as my deputy supervisor. He makes me a better supervisor for it. And also, let me tell you, the fact is I'm supervisor because Al lets me be supervisor. I know it, <laughs> Al knows it, and this whole room knows it. So thank you very much. You have got some nerve. <laughs> but in some ways you remind me of the biblical adage, he who humbles himself shall be exalted. And you have been in this town, and you're a great supervisor. Al, you've got to respond. <laughs> Al, you can't just sit there and take this. Get up here and say something. <laughs> Well, that's a really tough act to follow. I really didn't want to follow Scott. Um, and, you know, when I first ran, I was 23 years old, and Frank Kioski asked me to run, and there's a lot of history there with the Cutrug Polish Democrats, and he took me down to Blue Top to the meeting. <laughs> and, you know, I'm 23, and I'm looking at all these guys there, and I'm thinking, I don't know what they're talking about. <laughs> and... And I, I really didn't come from a, a family that was involved politically, so I really didn't know the difference between a Republican or a Democrat. And, but I knew that they were, the club was, was involved, they wanted to be involved because of the community. And so I ran for office and I was fortunate to, to run with good people. I was fortunate to be elected with good people. You know, some of the, my first board members, someone like Henry Smith, he knew better Polish than I did, you know? <laughs> and and I learned a lot from people like that, working with with, uh, with some of my early board members over the years, and really nothing's changed because the people who were involved then, they're really the same people who are involved now, whether they're still in the club, and I'm looking at people like Pete Harris, and and who's in the club now, but um, but all the other people in town, and George Sullivan's here, and everyone like Scott said, everyone here works for South Old Town. And it makes it it makes it so much of a better town. And and 
it's, it, it's almost easy to do a good job when you work with people that all have the same interests and people like Scott and all our board members, they, you know, everybody works together and because it's, it's our community. And Scott was just talking about the big parade he's going to organize for, uh, for 2015 for the, uh, for the anniversary of the town, 375th anniversary. So I would like to say, can I, can I have that? Thanks. Make a, make a toast to the Petro Polish Democratic Club for 80 years. Stole a lot. And I'd like to make a toast to the, for the town, for South Old Town. Nazdravia. And I'd like to thank everyone, you know, for coming. It really, uh, it is really humbling to see all these family and friends here. It really makes me feel good. I have to thank Mary, who's, uh, you know, who's always been there for me. Through, uh, you know, the best political advisor ever. for all the times that I said, oh, sorry, I gotta go, I got a meeting, I gotta go. <laughs> uh, they're always there to, to pull the weight and, and, uh, and step in, and it, so that's, that's been very important to me. So, it's like to, uh, like I said, it feels really good to be here, and, you know, we, we're going forward as a town, and everyone's part of that. Thank you.